Hey Overcomers, I hope you're all having an amazing day. If you are new here, I am Dara Marie. I am your favorite mindset teacher. And this is Be An Overcomer, where you will be inspired and empowered to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create the life you desire. So Overcomers, today's message is decide it's yours. Just decide. Too often, we're waiting on the outside world. We're waiting on outside conditions to change before we go towards that vision, before we achieve that dream or go for that goal or create that life that we desire, that life that we dream of. We keep waiting for outside conditions to change. Meanwhile, the way God created this world, he created the world by he thought it, he spoke it, and then he saw what he said. And because we are made in his image, we're made in the image of the Most High God, we can create our lives too. But too often in this world, in this society, they try to dumb us down, try to make us believe for less, try to keep us in a constant state of lack and constant state of worry and constant state of negativity, not realizing that everything stems from you. That is truly an inside job. Whatever you're focusing on in your mind, it is going to manifest out here. You will see it at some point in your world. You will experience it. And I'm truly passionate about this thing, about faith and imagination, because I don't just preach it or teach it. I actually live it. And daily, I see evidence of my faith and the things that I've seen in my mind and they start to manifest and show up in this outer world. So I just hope today in this message that you feel encouraged and you get inspired to create the life you desire because you're here to live your best life. I don't care what the world wants to tell you. I don't care that the world wants to fill you with fear and limitations and say you can't have that or that's not for you. No, you are here to live your best life. And in the Bible, in the book of Romans, it says we are more than conquerors. That means you are here to achieve and live out overwhelming victory, more than conquerors, that you have already won. You were born here in life to live out your heart's desires and you are here to win. You're not here to lose, okay? But see, the key is learning how to play this game of life, as Florence Scovel Shin talks about. Once you learn how to play this game of life and you learn how to consciously create and you learn how to walk by faith and not by sight and you learn to decree things over your life and prophesy the things that you want over your life and see it show up, then you realize like, okay, this is how I'm supposed to be living life. I'm supposed to be being able to create my life. I'm supposed to, whatever God has given me, the gifts, the talents, to put those things to use so that you can live out your best life, okay? So, Overcomers, today I want to read to you from my latest book, Faith and Imagination, Keys to Effortless Living. I know a few of you have asked, where can you get this book? It's available on Amazon, as well as my website, which is um, DaraMarieProductions.com. So I want to read to you from this section and it says, shift your world. When you shift your words and in inner conversations, the world around you will move to match what you have said. Neville Goddard said, most people are unaware of the fact that our inner conversations are the causes of the circumstances of our life. I absolutely love that quote. And I'm gonna read it again. Most people are unaware of the fact that our inner conversations are the causes of the circumstances of our life. Whatever you want in life, just decide on it. You do not need confirmation from the outer world. Everything starts with you. If you can see it in your mind, you will see it in your external world. It will become a part of your life experience. Many people do not realize the power and authority that God gave us. And that's from Genesis chapter one and verse 26. Transformation happens when we shift to God's way of thinking. And that's Romans 12 and two. 
old ways won't open new doors. Doing things the same way will not produce a different result. We have to shift our perspective and elevate our thinking. To be fully awakened in a sleeping world is a level of elevation that some people will never realize. And I truly believe that. There are some people that will go through their whole life and never wake up to this power within. The next chapter or next section, remove old programming. At times when we are moving forward in life, old programming creeps up. Old programming consists of old thoughts that no longer serve you. We have to remember who we are. We are created in the image of God because his DNA is inside of us. Part of the problem is the programming that we received in the past is still a part of us. We have to let go of past programming to push forward into everything God created us to be. The old programming will try to hold you back to not move forward into what God has for you. For example, if a person has struggled in the past financially, old programming will have them believe that they will always not have money and always struggle. One belief may be that they do not have opportunities to make money and move into abundance. Another example may be a person who has experienced bad relationships. Old programming will have someone believe that they will never have a good relationship. They may believe that all men or women cheat because those people do not know how to be faithful. These thoughts or programming are of no use to anyone. They do not serve you nor help you elevate to the next level. To push forward, we have to let go of old programming. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. And that for, that's from Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and that's the New Living Translation. Speak life. You will also decree a thing, and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. And that's one of my favorite scriptures from Job chapter 22, verse 28. There is such power in the words we speak. As people, we have been conditioned to believe that we want things that we cannot have. You may see a nice car or a lovely home and think you cannot have it. When the truth is, the fact that you desire it, you're supposed to have it. I believe God gives us downloads that are clues to what we are created for, our purpose on this earth. If we want to see it, we have to move in faith and speak in confidence. As believers, we have the power to speak things into existence. We should always choose to speak life, speak in faith, and believe God to move on our behalf. Too often, people talk about the opposite, which is fear. We should never allow the natural realm to hinder what our spirit believes. Fear is false evidence appearing real. When you do not know what to say, speak life. Like in cases where you're unsure, speak life. When words seem to fail you, speak life. God does not renege on his word. Zig Ziglar said, fear is faith in reverse. Let your faith override your fear. Fear moves the hand of God and causes miracle signs and wonders to flow into your life. So overcomers, as I said, whatever you want in life, whatever that dream, that goal, whatever that thing that your heart desires, decide on it. And you do not let up until it shows up. So in this world, we're so programmed to, you see something on TV or you hear something a neighbor says or a friend says or a family member says, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So I got to make that move. We're never really trained to go within. To, to This is why I always tell you to happen, go within, within the spirit of God, okay? You're made in his image. That means his spirit lives inside of you, okay? I believe God created this universe. I know, you know, people say it's the universe, but God, I believe God created the universe and through him, we have that same power to create our world, to create our life experience, to create our reality. And it starts with what you're thinking. It starts with what you're speaking. It starts with what you're feeling. All of the things that you're focusing on throughout the day, it is going to be expressed in your outer world. 
it is going to manifest, okay? That's how it works. That's that game of life as Florence Govelshin talks about it, that, you know, your thoughts, it's man's inner conversations, Okay, it's the things that we think about. She says, your word is your wand. Like you're literally um, creating your life and creating the things you want by your words and by your thoughts. And the Bible also talks about, it says in the word that by your words, you are justified and by your words, you are condemned. Like sometimes people don't even realize like they're speaking sickness into their life. They're speaking lack into their life. They're speaking bad relationships into their life. All of these things. And honestly, overcomers, like, I wish I had this knowledge 20 years ago. But all things in its time. Okay? All things in its time. And this is why we're here to live life. And we're here to elevate. And we're here to grow. And we're here to evolve. But some people never get to that point where they evolve into who God has created them to be, that they really evolve and tap in to this power. As Neville Goddard said, and I love, love, that's one of my favorite quotes of his, that most people are unaware of the fact that our inner conversations are the causes of the circumstances of our life. And I'm telling you, if you are just going by the world's programming, if you're just going by what you heard, what the latest headlines is, and you're allowing that to take root in your life, those things will manifest in your life. Like several years ago, the programming or the messaging was that there was so much sickness and there's so much death. And, and another thing, if you really trust God and believe God, like the thing that bugged me out as a Christian, as a person who trusts God, we're seeing Christians moving in fear and not faith. And like, oh my God, so many people are dying, right? But doesn't the word say to die is to, to be with God, to be absent from the body is to be present from, you know, to be present with the Lord, absent from the body, present with the Lord. So if you have strong faith, you know that this life is just a stepping stone. You know that we're not supposed to be moving in fear. And when you read the promises of God, when you get into his word and you read his word and you see all the promises of God and it says the promises of God are yes and amen, meaning they are for you. But unless you tap in, you will never know that he has promises of healing. He has promises of favor. He has promises of success, of wealth. All these things for you if you never tap into his word and you're only going by what the world is saying. And I'm so passionate about faith and imagination, using, using your imagination to create your life and walking by faith because I see evidence of it daily from little things to big things. I shared with you like a few weeks ago that popular convenience store one day as I was driving by in my mind I said that's what I want to see there like I purposely and this is why I tell you for those that are unsure and don't really trust faith and don't really you know think this might be woo woo or it's not you know it's just not real test it out write a list of things that you want to see in your world write something down that you want someone to say to you or whatever it is and watch it manifest, watch it show up. Because once you see evidence of your faith, once you see evidence of your imagination, things that you thought of in your mind that only you and God know, and then you see it in this 3D world, no one can convince you that's not how it works. So for me, for me, when I have a desire, when I have a goal, when I have a vision, I'm relentless. I'm not giving up until it shows up. Okay? God created us to live an abundant life according to John 10 and 10. And that's in all areas. That's not just the material things that the world wants to also program you to believe. Like the 10 cars and the, the fur coats and the <laughs> fickle and frail stuff. The stuff that you can't take with you when you leave this life which is a stepping stone <laughs> to the next one, okay? So the thing is, you have to tap in because I'm telling you, and God gave me this a few weeks ago and I was like, Lord, you really want me to say that? If you don't tap in, you're gonna wanna tap out. 
If you don't tap in, if you don't get into this power of God and realize, listen, I can create my life. It doesn't matter where you started or where you are right now. You can go up from there, but it's all based on your mindset. It's all based on what you're focusing on. I'm telling you, the pressures of life may hit and you'll be like, you know what? I can't do this. And that's not what the Lord wants. You've been given gifts, you've been given talents, you've been given visions, you've been given everything to live a successful life while you are here on earth. But the key is knowing who you are. And this is why the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can know what the acceptable and perfect will of God is for your life. But if you're accepting the programming of the world, like there are people that can tell you more about what the latest headlines is, what's happening in the world, more than what is going on in their life. What's your dream? What's your goal? What's your vision? What do you want to accomplish while you are here on earth? Since so many people are worried, you know, about death, what do you want your, um, your obituary to say? When it's all said and done, what do you want someone to stand up and say about you during that, what you've done during your lifetime? Live from that standpoint and realize that each day is a gift. Each day of 24 hours is a gift. Use your gifts. Use the talents. God gave it to you for a reason. Your gift is for you to use it so it will inspire someone else to step into the things that God has created them to step into. If you love cooking, you know God has given you a desire to, I don't know, start a catering business do it. If you're supposed to be writing books, you know you have a book inside of you and you've been sitting on it for years and years. The time is now. Do it. If it's going back to school, if it's like, you know what, you want to get into health, do it. Like exercising and whatever it is, do it. Just decide because whatever you decide on, it will be done. That's what the Bible says, Job 22 and 28. What you decide on will be done. But too often we're listening to the world's programming. And another thing I want to tell you, if you are a parent, okay, I would encourage you to definitely step into who God is calling you to be. Definitely moving in faith rather than fear. Because you know what? Your children are watching you. I will never forget several years ago when there was so much fear in this world. There was so much, the fear was, it was like, for those of us, that um like you know god has given you a seer gift you get it in dreams visions you just know it's like your discernment is like instead of on 10 it's like on 20. <laughs> your discernment it's it was so palpable and the fear and the worry and and people were scared and confusion and all this stuff and i'll never forget when schools first shut down and my son he looked at me he's like mom so, so what are we going to do? Like there was like a level of concern. And I looked at him and I said, we're going to be okay. And I said, you know what? No, in fact, we're going to be more than okay. And then it was like, in my mind, I was like, girl, you know, this is spiritual warfare. This is your time. You got to fight spiritually. I will never forget. My Bible teacher said to me years ago, when things are hectic in the natural that is when you go spiritual. When things are crazy out here, you got to tap in. You got to go within. This is where you have to speak life. This is where you got to prophesy over your life. And I just started speaking things literally in the atmosphere. It was him and I. We were home. And I just started speaking. Speaking over him. Speaking over. Just speaking over my family. Just declaring healing. Declaring health. Declaring everything good because you have that power. But if you never know you have that power, you go through your whole life, as Neville Goddard said, unaware that it's what's happening within you, and that's the causes of the circumstances of your life. So when you realize that no matter what is showing up out there, no matter what the messaging is out there, as long as I can speak over my life and think over my life, I will have what I say. Because the Bible says you will have what you say. So overcomers, I hope this encouraged you today. Just decide. 
decide what you decide on will be done so i just want to leave you with a few keys and this message is pretty long i didn't expect to go this long but the first key is keep persisting that no matter what shows up out there you are going to keep persisting in your mind the second key is decide what you want and stick with it you don't let up until it shows up you stick with it I have so many, so many testimonies and like some things like I started to write because I know I'm going to be writing about it. OK, and I know some of you have asked about like I've shared with you healing testimonies, things about relationships, things like that. Like there's so much. If you will just decide what you want and speak it and believe it, the key is to speak it and believe it and see it in your mind. You're going to see it in your world. The third key is do the inner work. Be aware of your self-talk throughout the day because your self-talk, those are the inner conversations. What are you focusing on the most? Are you focusing on lack or abundance? Are you focusing on health or sickness? Are you focusing on that the world is so terrible or that there are opportunities around you and blessings and favor chases you down? Like, what are you focusing on? The next key, the fourth key, remove old programming plug in new thoughts new beliefs because you cannot keep doing things the same way and expecting a different result so if it's healing that you need you're going to start declaring your healing you're going to start speaking affirmations over your healing no matter what is showing up no matter what is happening out there you're going to speak healing no matter what the doctor said you're going to start to prophesy over your life okay and the last key is always choose to speak life because you're the director, you're the writer, you're the author of your life. So whatever it is that you want, you need to start speaking it into existence. That's how we're created. God created us in his image and therefore we can speak and think our life into existence too so overcomers i hope you enjoyed this message if you like this message please comment share subscribe and always be an overcomer